Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the pre-market edition of June 27th of 2011. This is Miguel Vences. Good morning, everybody, to this new week of trading. And the markets are up on the moderate side. The Dow futures up 0.12%. Also, the S&P futures 0.12% and the Nasdaq futures 0.25%. So we're looking at a moderate opening to the upside. In the news, we did come out with personal income right about expectations at 0.3%. Personal spending unchanged and PCE prices 0.3%, slightly above expectations, which was 0.2%. So on the news... The futures didn't move, move a whole lot. And in the daily chargers, which is really quick, these are the two main levels that we're looking for. Either a breakdown under the 200-day moving average and the lower trend line of our symmetrical triangle uh, around the 1261 area. We do need a breakdown of that for the markets to actually decide to go bearish. Or around the 1300 area, just to go over that zone, as the signal that we are in for a little rebound, or a little rally at least, till we test the upper trend line of this symmetrical triangle. By the way, some, somehow the triangle got erased from uh, my charts, but uh, the weekend edition, you can uh, take a look at that symmetrical triangle. And in the SPY, the intraday levels that we're going to be looking at this morning as we open are to the upside, 2697, 12721, 12746, and to the downside, 12666, 12647, 12628. And so as we head to the open, slightly up for the day, the market's still non-committal. That's to where it's heading. So as technical analysts, our best strategy is just to wait until we get a definite signal or where the markets are going have a great day and a great trading week stay with us here at grog trade for the best in technical analysis